Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. This person was hurt by someone else and they decided to make a Google Doc. Let's see what happens. Of course, I have been a victim of malicious Google Docs to try to, uh, they're there, uh, to try to knock me down and to try to accuse me of things and to try to cancel me out there uh, because the person just didn't want to talk to me in private. They were very excited in private, but apparently there were a bunch of issues and they decided to make a, a Google Doc. So let's see um, from what people are responding to. So can't believe they do something like that. It's horrible. They say it's disgusting. Sorry, you were ostracized with a proper investigation and then added salt to the wound by approaching your friends and getting them to think badly of you. Oh, yeah, there's a certain thieving Neko that did that to me. So, yeah, I kind of I kind of uh, commiserate with them in this case then. Uh, let me go and not do the 250%. Let's just do a little bit of in increasing here. Here we go. Uh, document is my side of the situation, 722-2024, regarding Ichigo Nyanko Ichinyan. And uh, Kaiden Tajian, Tajigen, I've tried to move on and leave it behind multiple times these past two or three weeks. However, things keep getting worse and mentally challenging. Got to a point where I think I have to create this document even if I don't want to, to kind of protect their image, I guess. Uh, it isn't a document to make things, you know, bad. It says, um, no one here is a good person at all. Whole situation has been full of, of beyond effed up actions. I highly recommend reading everything word for word rather than skimming through it. Uh, it is 15 pages, so we will see about that. Reason for making the public is more than final. I talked with others, including my therapist, psychologist. So I talked about people here. Um, they wanted to, uh, a lot of them see this it could happen to other people and be a possible threat if ignored. Also want this project to protect the sphere as much as I can. Basically the VTuber sphere, her sphere. Um, this is a showing some proof. Uh, it is a lot of proof, a lot of proof, which is good. It's good to show all this proof. Starting with Ichigo Ichinyan, this will be the biggest one as it's kicked off everything when the first mainly talked in May and we met in April 26th. What felt to me like the first intent was to use me for advice to be friends with Kaiden. God, I just had a thought and I hope I don't come across as senpai notice me with Taj. Taji, I'm just bad at making friends. To which I said, just don't try to become too close to him or break any of his boundaries. He doesn't really know you that well. I don't really either. Like I said, the way I act, act with him is because we do know each other and we are friends. It isn't the way you should act with him. However, just take small steps and respect his boundaries. That's all I can really say. Pretty lenient as you wouldn't get into too much trouble. I am much less lenient. I did want to give her advice since making friends can be a very valuable thing. Felt bad at her remark that she had been bad at making friends. Then she asked me later if I'd seen his face. Quite hesitant about being faceless, specifically since I used to do other things before that currently, but I ended up getting found. That's fine. But I decided to try to stay faceless at least. Never seen Kaiden, replied with seeing him, how so, not IRL. I'm going to drop a huge bomb. I used to play and stream Lords of the Rings online. That was it. That was a very, very short game, you know. Very spontaneous back in 2018 and 2020. As a high elf captain on both Everlight, Evernight and Lorien, it was knowledgeable. So they're doing basically giving background here. I uh, should be left in the past. Um, like they want to have the stuff left in the past and not have any attention garnered to it for, to respect Kaiden. I only remember things for there. I still trying to be kind to the people who are mean to them. I didn't want to tell Ichin on this. They remember uh, things photogenically and I have forgotten, but I do remember what he looked like. I didn't want to say this to Ichinan because it was simply not her business to know what he looked like. Um, and it was Kaiden who, you know, would, would be the business of the person. So when she answered my question at the end of the message as to why she said, I was just wondering since you two seem very close, just trying to get to know you better is all. I'm sorry if I come across as abrupt. It is abrupt and I'm not an act of getting to know you better. Uh, if you want to know me better, ask questions, not me, not everyone else. It's very rude and disrespectful to ask intrusive questions about someone else's friend or partner, especially unwarranted. This started to ring a bell in my head that these things were red flags. To me, the only thing she wanted to talk about was Kaiden, not anything about me. I only replied with it's fine after a reply, quickly move on as I wanted the conversation over to move on to something else. You know, not to be Kaiden all the time. Right as she uh, playfully asked if Kaiden was a thing, a question made my gut wrench. It felt completely personal and it is not one of the first few questions you ask when talking to somebody. I agree with that. I, I responded with, eh? I don't think he's interested in me at all. I don't really see that either. I've had slight, I, I've had slight feelings for him, but nothing like, you know, keyword had by, you know, uh, mainly mean that Madden in love or obsessed, which isn't, which I wasn't. Basically, maybe, you know, a little bit of things happen here and there when you're good friends with somebody. That is true. 
I'll get more to that on the part about Kaiden later on. I did in fact have slight feelings for him, a slight infatuation crush, but those feelings were already fading away when she asked what I wanted to try to pursue someone else, preferably in real life during that time. After she responds with, there goes my ship, just playing, don't worry, this isn't something you play around with, nor is it cool that you ship two VTubers, even as a joke since VTubers are, drumroll, real people. They state it's cool to ship, then that means it's okay, but if nothing is said or the greatest word of all time, no, is stated, then it's not okay to do it all. Yes, do not ship someone else. Um, if they're open about it, cool. If they're not open about it, then don't do it. Unless it's become a part of the lore, it's become a part of the VTuber thing, don't ship other people. I reply with that, I've actually had multiple people think we're dating since we're friends of mine and Kaiden have asked a question. More acceptable, didn't ask to be intrusive. I was approached differently. Wasn't one of the first questions that was asked. She then replies, I mean, I see it. That's why I had been asked for a while. So yeah, just oddness, like asking too much, trying to be too intimate, trying to ask too many intimate questions. Um, me being nosy, she is very nosy, holy crap, says Kaiden is a great person but already in a relationship with someone at IRL, and here is some of the proof that they have of what they said. Says honestly same, uh, about the faces thing, seeing him how so, and that's the proof of what they mentioned before. I think I was at 140%, I think I was at 140%, yeah I think I was. And then there's there, so, uh, you Kaiden ever become a thing, and that's all the evidence of the things that were done before, interested me at all. I've actually had multiple people think we're dating, I mean I see it, that's why I had to ask. And you know, that meant saying that they were being nosy, etc. So that is never, I mean, it's never good to be that nosy, especially when someone's intimate stuff going on. Just chill when it comes to those things. Her being intrusive and asking these questions, it made me feel like I was being used out of scope to scope out information about Kaiden. Like someone that was interested in Kaiden, just using to kind of scope information. Also made me feel like she was already interested in Kaiden, despite already having a partner in real life, not even knowing Kaiden for a whole month. It also made me feel like me and Ichi's whole friendship was only based on Kaiden and not on me and her. That was a huge red flag in and of itself. We continued talking about more topics arose around center around Kaiden, which started to anger me more and more. But uh, knowing her, I still indulged her in, you know, in that stuff because, you know, she was trying to be nice. You're trying to be nice. So indulging is one thing that she tries to be nice with. For example, randomly bringing up that I was doing Kaiden's birthday, wanted to do an artist collage with my friends. Uh, I was also already in the process of doing a Live 2D model for him for his birthday as well. All progress and has been discarded as well as plans to the art collab which already did start, so I had to send out a huge apology to those that started to participate. She also wanted to do a Life 2D model, which is still encouraged her to do, even though I was I was doing one myself. In opinion, it's not her business of what I'm doing uh, for someone's birthday. Yes, it's not her opinion as to what's happening. So, do you have anything planned for his birthday? I was thinking of something, I don't know, would be clashed with your ideas. 21st of July, Ichi's behavior got to a boiling point as I wanted to check her Spotify linked in her discord to follow her there and learn more about her music interests because she you know i did like the music she had previously shown me as with friends learning about their musical interests is crucial to me as it helps me learn things about her personalities identities etc i'm the same way uh when i first look at spotify i see kainyan which is a boiling point to me as it's flagged it to be a ship name i've seen in many role-playing fandom things so they sh she shipped herself with, with kaisen um I decided for uh, the Kai person. I decided to confront Ichinyan as it was a boiling point, uh, so it made me genuinely concerned about her. She wanted to protect both of them. Didn't want to see anyone to see the playlist, and I broke it out of proportion because of the shipping. Wanted to conf I confront her by saying, "Hey, can I talk to you about something a bit? It's not that bad. I'm a little concerned." She gives the green light, and I warn her, "This has to do with Kai first and foremost, mainly so she knew the topic beforehand. I didn't want to hit her with first and foremost." Then I hit her with my message. I was looking at your Spotify since I wanted to listen to the playlist. Since I do like your music taste. However, I see a playlist named Kainyan. It sounds like a ship name to me. And, you know, she warned her about that. Don't know your stance, both of you, but it flags as an obsession to me. Ten minutes later, she responds, Eris, I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, but to be honest, but since I must defend myself, I will. Kaiden is a friend of mine. Kaiden is a friend of them. Multiple names, a playlist of mine and my friend's name. I'm a Yotaite. It's good to do so, so you know what music they like, more importantly for collaboration, so they're trying to excuse themselves. I do art for him because I can, I shouldn't have to justify that, and your friends, it's fun for me to do so. Uh, it isn't an act to defend, nor was a cause to be defensive. First off, she stated that she has more than one kind of playlist. This was the only playlist with names. Um, it's because she says obsession stated above, it's just what I do for friends. That's what she tried to state, put it as. So the only playlist with the names matched together. You cannot exactly say she's lying about having other playlists uh, of this kind, uh, but maybe the playlists are private. That's what she's saying here. Playlist still up to this day, which I found to be private from the very start. Secondly, the song list. If you want to know what music they like, make a playlist with only their name, not mesh with yours, only the songs they like. A lot of the songs I knew have listened to before. Wide music taste, approximately half of the songs were more romantic. 
and geared, which makes me think it was obsessed, romantically interested, find myself playlists centered around other people. And this is the things that are going on. Next, I didn't say for her to stop doing Art of Kaiden. Uh, she just said, you know, make sure you don't get obsessed. That's what it looks like. Tell you to slow down with doing our frame for many reasons, including that, but it get overbearing for both. If you do too much, it can get overbearing for the person. It can cause stress. Um, basically, you know, I have been the same place in the fall and winter of last year. I had made way too much art for Kaiden, half of which has never been seen or published. It made me feel overly stressed and exhausted. And I was bending behind on the art that I was supposed to do for others. I also had my friends call me out for it as it could lead me to an unhealthy spiral and be not good look for my portfolio, which I stated can get repetitive. So she's trying to change that stuff. She disregarded uh, the claim that she was obsessed, putting back into that it was only she was friends. Instead of directly saying that she isn't obsessed, she tried to uh, deflect instead of directly uh, talking about it. She then follows up with Eris. Since this happened, I will need to remove you from my space as a professional matter. I am media personality and I won't tolerate such behavior in it. So just because she called her out there, she decided to go on the attack at that point. Um, to be honest, I'm disappointed. I didn't think you have to go through such lengths, but I have to. Not only is this respectful to myself, it's respectful to Kaiden too. I do wish you well. I'm trying to see you in the space we both share. Stay civil. That's what she says. And it's going to be proven later that she wasn't civil, I'm assuming. No need to remove me from her space. The only concern and felt uncomfortable with her actions, which needed to be called out. But I can understand her removing him from the space. It's not disrespectful, nor can she say it's disrespectful about Kaiden unless she says so himself. I find it completely silly and toxic that she would do this over me being genuinely concerned about her. Nor was I being concerned a threat to her community. If she wanted to cut me out like that, I wish she could have done so sooner. This to me was seen as her opportunity to get me out of the way, to get me out of the picture. Now this was honestly deserved on my end, which I stated to her. There's no need to take such immediate measures over slight concern. And here is the stuff here. I'm mentioning about the Spotify. Shouldn't have to explain myself. And, uh removing the space because she got called out. She didn't like Ichigo and Nyanko, didn't like the fact that she was being called out. When you do these things, Ichigo and Nyanko, just giving you a little bit of advice from a person who's had these issues. When you do this, when you get someone calling you out, uh, you should just face it forward. I got called out by a certain Neko and I went straight for it and I went straight at it and I did it piece by piece, little by little, part by part. Uh, tearing everything down and making sure that there were no questions even though that happened there are people who i will not name there are groups who i will not name who pushed me out of their discords and pushed me out of um some people rightfully so there's one person who rightfully so did it and they know who they are they rightfully so did it because i was being a little toxic and i understand that person is fine they're big they're growing they're part of mythic mythic talent and all that kind of stuff they're doing a lot of stuff they're good other people didn't even want to look at my side and didn't want to do anything and they pushed me out um so this makes you look bad. This makes you look very bad. This whole, because you got called out, you got angry because maybe you got called out from some truth. And then, you know, maybe there was some truth behind it. Maybe that's what it was. Back with her as a media personality, content creator, I always feel treat people as people. Despite me being a content creator as well, we're all human and we should be treated as such, not trash or disposable. <clears throat> I always talk things through with others before making any decisions, as I do believe it's wrongful to just throw away someone regardless of any status, grudges, or prior mistakes they've made. If someone does any proof of a situation, I always have to have any to present to me. Basically, get proof before, you know, you push someone else out. And there were a lot of people who apparently pushed her out, and she got bad mouth to, to friends, and that's the kind of stuff that ended up happening. The next day, after the situation, one of her mods followed me on Twitter as well as my Discord server. I was shocked uh, by this and I haven't removed him from my community as he hasn't done anything wrong yet. He will continue to be part of my community until he leaves, gets kicked, or banned. The only thing that worries me is if information that's on my server is being shared with her, which I do not consent to. It's also a rule stated within my server that information is not to be shared outside the server to external parties, as well as recording calls and streams within the server. When I released an announcement on the situation in my server, or a mod did, uh, react with a heart and hug emojis, to which we shocked me, which is Ichi's own moderator and friend. So that shocked them. Let's go on. Also, privately messaged me and Kaizen model artist for her own model, which both made us immediately feel a red flag and creeped out as they were trying to get closer to Kaiden. When I messaged Kagari for a model, it was because the price was cheap. I had time restraints and to support a friend, not to relate to Kaiden or be close to him. These are a lot of accusations. These are a lot of accusations. And um, I will say this, while I will give this person the benefit of the doubt, um, at being a victim of people saying these things, about me in uh, Google uh, Documents has made me more iffy on Google Documents, has made me more skeptical on the Google Documents. This could very well be a hit piece. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying it is. It could be a hit piece for all I know, because I don't know any of the people involved. I'm taking it at, as at face value. 
she goes on to mention, you know, years ago when I was Eris, I used to always introduce myself from another dimension, being multidimensional, talking about their own stuff, uh, wanting to not be creepy, wanting to not show as people be, be copying anybody. I definitely would have been weird if I continued the aspect of multidimensional star particle. I'm a star particle of within darkness. <clears throat> I might keep the commander part as it does relate to my design, which feels out of place without the commander aspect, but this document isn't about my ideas as a VTuber. On to Kaiden, as I've been unhappy with how they've handled the situation. When they replied, they gave me no chance to show proof. So Kaiden, pretty much according to this person, again, take it with a grain of salt. According to this person, um, they uh, just blocked them, it seems like. Went right to Ichinyan, where I greatly assumed she lied to him and flipped the story to convince him to take me out of his community, which he decided to believe. It's basically, she got ostracized from a community based on backhanded words that other people were saying. Uh, without giving reason to others to ban you from it, really dig a dagger even deeper to felt like an insult rather than that. So basically, when they were banned, I brought up a prior incident uh, after I thought it was resolved and moved on from. This put me down. The backhanded good wishes were also an issue uh, that I'm pretty sure they're going to show. Right here, uh, Kuriyami Eris uh, talking to Kaiden. Sure, need to talk about something to send me a message here and I reply to it. Um, talking about Ichigo and the behavior and talking about the concerning part. Um, and, you know, she went all through everything about, you know, the 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 boundaries being, you know, crossed, the creepy behavior, the attachment, the shipping behavior, all that kind of stuff. And this is the response she got back. I looked at the whole situation, as you should know by now, I gave the benefit of the doubt a lot and looked to the apology. I uh, took your apology from the previous incident at face value. So you should also know we have zero tolerance for anything that's sort of happening again. Wanted to be a professional and clear about it all. This doesn't make sense. Unfortunately, you've been made aware more about the situation you've just informed me of based on what I've seen. It looks to me that repeat of your previous behavior, along with other negative things that I just cannot have in this community. As such, I can't have you in my space anymore. I'm sorry, truly, to think of all the good things you contributed, but I feel I have to continue to take actions to protect my community as well. So this could be just someone being angry. I don't know. I don't know. Kaiden was the first to bring up the situation publicly. It's supposed to be kept in direct messages between parties, which are me, Ichinan, and Kaiden. I am greatly frustrated that an announcement of a user has been banned was made public on both of their Twitter and Discords. Yeah, that's 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 scummy. That's utterly scummy on their part. Utterly scummy. That's like that's a that's a spit on your graves type of scummy. I was notified by a friend when I was posted on Kaiden's Discord and was beyond furious, still to this current day. Continue to be these things can uh, can cause witch hunts. I definitely know about witch hunts. Holy crap, I've been a victim of that for the past five months or so. Um, especially as their community is small, can easily be pieced uh, who was banned. Thankfully, they did not mention that I was the one that was banned, but I, I stated that it can be easily pieced together. Uh, and then they, they had it right there. Uh, Kaiden, alternative uh, idol. Recently, as an individual has been banned from my community, please be aware that part of the reason is harassment towards other members. There's no proof of harassment. Show proof. Show proof. You're in trouble by this. Please ignore and move on. Good morning. Um, the uh, unfortunate remove someone from my space, protect the little community. So they, they, they are putting it as protection, supposedly. Supposedly protection. They both posted it public. It went out of the way to, I find this indirect way to scare anyone to silence myself. I didn't scare me to silence completely. I did feel scared, but not enough to make me go entirely silent. The mention of defamation and harassment is completely ironic because that's what Kaiden and Ichinan are doing with the two tweets. So it makes things even more hypocritical, entirely hypocritical. Then they try to make their own selves seem good by saying ignore it and move on. No, no, no about this if it wasn't for you making this type of stuff. I agree with that. Further, it seems like they don't want to move on because it's guaranteed that people will dig up information about this, find out it causing other ways. So this person's, what they're doing here is they are fighting back, like I said before that I do. Fighting back to make sure that they aren't being mistreated by people out there. Kaiden previously got pissed off or concerned at me for bad mouthing a group of people in another Discord server the very last day of May, never stated people's names or valuable information to keep them safe. He said, I appreciate the fact that you have still tried to avoid saying specific names, but even with that, it made clear who you're talking about, especially when you mentioned something related to the people. Therefore, uh, announcing the ban publicly while keeping my name private means utterly hypocritical since I stated both their communities are small and it's easy to figure out who it is. Back in December, I messaged Kaiden about a user on the server harassing me in direct messages. Nothing was done. Uh, no announcement of the server publicly via Twitter. Basically, if, if, they, were, if they were removed, Basically, there uh, nothing was done on Twitter, so this seemed like it was made, meant to personally hurt the person. Um, Kaiden knew I would see the announcement on Twitter, as well as man uh, since I managed three different accounts on Twitter: VTuber account, an art account, personal account. So he knew all this stuff would happen. He had no right to bring it to a model artist, uh, which is a close friend of mine. It's made me flag that Kaiden was talking about me to others related to the situation in bad light, and who knows how many others. Kaiden went out of his own way, on his own accord, out of nowhere to do this. 
Just like how he sa uh, said to me earlier when I started another incident last May, Factor Man said you're going out of your way to speak ill of other people. That's what they're doing. Hypocrite. Big hypocrite. Had truly meant no ill, as he said. I wouldn't have gone to our model artist. People were completely not related to warrant. Yeah, um, I've been a victim of that as well. People going to others and talking bad about me. Um, due to this, my model artist and I have not been in recent talking terms and he has been stressed greatly due to being involved in the situation. However, I'm glad my model artist still considers me as a friend. I have also been ignored by others who know Kaiden and know that nothing is a situation. Um, I, I can very much commiserate with this. I can very much empathize with this. And their response when they cut me out. They said they're not bringing up to them their mods or anyone with this inclusion of anyone. This makes it completely hypocritical. As like stated, Kaiden brought this up to others as well as softly publicly. It's kind of one of those things. It was a gentleman's agreement as the, as a way it goes. It was a gentleman's agreement and it is no longer a gentleman's agreement because one side decided to screw everything over, you know? So that, that is a thing. That is absolutely a thing. However, it was back on Kaiden. Uh, it was not a form of bargaining. It was a form of manipulation. Yeah, it's just since the acts of defamation false is more manipulation to them turn against me, which I worried, which worked. I've lost more than enough friends, more than enough opportunities are lost. I feel set up for failure now, complete and utter failure. So this sucks that they had that happen. It really does. And I hope that they get in better shape. Now I will say one thing. A lot of this could have been resolved if the people actually talked and the people like Kaizen and uh, Ichinan did not try to slander or smear someone else. They're coming here to try to, this person here, in my opinion, is doing this to try to repair a, a a smear campaign that was happening, try to fix the smear campaign and badmouth other people, not, not badmouthing, of them being badmouth. The smear campaign of them being badmouth. Uh, Kagari, sorry to reach you out of nowhere, something like this. But I think you should be made aware of the fact that I banned Kuriyami Eris. They, that Kagari sent them this. Done bad things such as gaslighting. Uh, it says, uh, for parasocial and bad, volatile behavior. Including badmouthing other people claiming they've done bad things such as gaslighting and bullying, but they did nothing of the sort. Of course, they believe the other person is maybe they were in a romantic relationship. Who knows? Given that you made a model for her, she's debuting it soon and you'd inform you. I'm sorry that this is a burden. No, you didn't need to inform them. What the F is your problem, dude? You're an a-hole. Holy crap. That is one thing I will say. You're an a-hole. Anyone who does this, and I've been a victim of this myself. Anyone who does this is an a-hole. Scum. Lowest pawn scum that exists. And he went to Kaiden's friend that was banned from their server. His friend had absolutely no place being put in the situation as well. But the band didn't have permission from their friend. I was generally scared and confused at the moment. This happened right after the situation where I told Kaiden's friend uh, to call as I was horrible typing at the moment. I was crying at the time. Then they explained what they didn't ban me to which one of their moderators did. Which Kaiden and them share moderators. But in seriousness, banning someone from another server without the owner's permission or telling them is godly s, especially if I hadn't done anything wrong. The other person, owner of the server. I'm glad that they wanted to look at both sides instead of agreeing with Kaiden on their moderators right off the bat. I was able to call one of the moderators who was a moderator in Kaiden's server, but not a friend of his. They were understanding both me and Kaiden's sides and views and confused as well. And of course, over here saying they hit the drama uh, and they were, you know, hearing them out. You can pause here and you can take a look at it. This is them hearing them out on the whole situation. I'm glad that at least someone tried to do that. After this, I let them know I didn't want to do anything to resolve in his side and situation right after I talked to them. One of his own moderators, as our model artist, told me. What happened above right in the moment, I did not approve of Kaiden's behavior, what was done uh, on with him is what he was doing. Um, and also, you know, the stuff that he did, I didn't unadd him, however, he unadded her, uh, which is, I assume he blocked me to which he talked to Kaiden and then Kaiden talked badly about me, like the other instances. Yeah, you. I got a lot of people blocking me for dumb BS stuff. And oh well, that's what you want to do, go ahead. I know I'm right in the ways that I'm doing my things. I know I've done nothing wrong. And that's why I continue doing my content. And that's why I have my community. I have also been notified that Taka's situation has continued on Kaiden's end. On 7.30 and 8.4, which is uncalled for as I wanted everything dropped. They didn't even drop it. Holy crap, they're still trying to badmouth the person. Extremely obsessive to me, has continued to talk about me. Small amounts of trust, but the trust is gone. Creeped out by uh, Kaiden's behavior many times. Now they're going on the attack. Uh, some of the behaviors I remember can be obsessive or out of place confusing. Uh, what big one that creeped me out in May receiving model of from Kagari. I forgot to credit him in my bio on Twitter, which he remembered did label him as Papa in Japanese Katakana because Kagari is male, but I ought to add him as Mama in my eyes. Right after approximately 30 minutes, I went to check on Kaiden's stream. He had that day via his pinned post. Credited Kagari as Papa with Japanese Katakana on his Twitter. Blah, blah, blah. The, basically, the bio changes like this. Um, Kuriami Eris, which uh, writer art Kagere as the, as the papa there, keeper of daily, and um, basically the papa thing there. I don't know why they added it to their own thing. Uh, I don't know why uh, they added that there as well, but whatever. 
it's something that they, they can do. Mom is used for model artist creator, even for 3D models, while Papa is used for rigor. That's very true. Uh, I used before linking my art account. Also, Papa is enforced col colon, all that kind of stuff. Basically explaining the whole Papa thing. Uh, only proof regarding it is right now. However, I vividly remember it being within 30 minutes to an hour as I talked to someone else. Uh, when I caught notice of it, more proofreading. I will update the document if I can or want to. When I credited Kagari as my VTuber Papa in my Twitter bio, not even a day after later, Kaiso Kaiden also did so. Like, huh? There's also lots of little things too. Kaiden also flirted, teased me several times on stream. Never called them out for on stream or direct messages since I didn't want to cause a scene. So this guy's a flirtatious person, which is fine. Um, but of course, uh, it's all coming out now because of the fact Kaiden did some, some things wrong. Uh, it says, when I was another identity, I always stated that being flirted by anyone to share a bond with or feel comfortable with makes me feel sick. So they mentioned that that was a boundary. The boundary was not respected. Uh, he forgot all about the boundaries. I uh, says, I wouldn't be surprised they're still talking about me to this day. It seems like it probably is, either in public spaces or private spaces. Wholeheartedly believe it's okay to have feelings for content creators, celebrities. You can have feelings for whoever you want. Very true. But uh, respect boundaries. If they set boundaries, respect them. If they don't mind you shipping them, if they don't mind you, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend experience, that kind of stuff, go ahead. But uh, there's a difference between infatuation and obsession. Infatuation is healthy. Obsession can be unhealthy. Um, they should prioritize your, your real life, which is very true. Kind has gotten uncomfortable with me oversharing the past. Which I've only done a number of two times on his streams in the past year. However, Kaiden has overshared himself on stream to a more revealing aspect than the two times that I've done as well. I share a bit too, so I can understand that. But um, it's hypocritical. This basically Kaiden shows sort of hypocrisy here. Kaiden did something wrong by continuing to talk about somebody behind their back. You can ban anybody you want. That's your choice. Absolutely. I respect mods choices. I respect other people's choices. But stop talking about them behind their back. You know, and actually try to get uh, communication going on. Try to get something going on. You know what I mean? Try to get something going on. Uh, closing off, if you ever do an apology from them, although the chances are extremely slim, if not none, I will forgive but never forget if the apology is truly genuine. Yes, I'll forgive but not forget. I haven't forgotten the stuff because it is um, something that you carry with you all the time. It is something that you're going to carry with you and it's something that's going to uh, color how you do things in the future. Holder Deer has hurt me greatly. Of course, and that's why they've done it. I continue to exist as Kiriyami Eris, but my love and appreciation for this identity is fading slowly. If I ever do disappear, which I don't plan to just yet, just know I'll always be a small particle of light, a, a star particle within the darkness, even if I'm not here. This is this person here, Kuriyami Eris. This is their um, long uh, bit of catharsis. I think more than anything, this is catharsis. And anyone who uh, wants to know about them and wants to know about the situation, giving their side of the story, which is fine. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more Google Docs coming out. This one was a long one because it was primarily words and very little actual, you know, um, Discord messages, very few Discord messages. That's the way it, it goes sometimes. Take this with a grain of salt. Take this as someone who is hurt and wants to make things right. Or you can also take it as someone who is uh, wanting to uh, throw back exactly what was thrown at them. Either way, they have the right to do this. Either way, they deserve to have their side be heard. And like I said, I always take things with a grain of salt, but I do give them the benefit of the doubt in the end. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.